And once we have them under control. That rattlesnake is a reminder to Mark Hockmuller that he's handling a wild and dangerous animal. Not that he ever forgets that fact. He's the curator at the Serpentarium here at AM Kingsville and has milked the venom from rattlesnakes some 20,000 times. He's never been bitten. Oh yeah, and they're moving around because of the temperature change. And also at night they're gonna be moving around a little bit. A number of people around the Kingsville area have found that out to be true. Al Higginbotham knows two of the men bitten recently and understands the pain and fear they were experiencing. Because all of a sudden I felt something hit the back of my leg. I knew immediately what it was. It was a rattlesnake bite, and that's why Higginbotham now makes sure he wears his boots and carries his 22 pistol with him when he's out in his front yard. He lives just south of Kingsville off FM 2619. It was here where he made the mistake of not having his boots on when he came across a rattler in his front yard. Well, it's frightening because you know you've just been bit by a rattlesnake and you don't know where this is going. After the attack, he says, he headed to the house and the snake took cover in this culvert. After Mr. Higginbotham was bitten by the rattlesnake, he says his girlfriend quickly took him to the hospital. That's where he told his friends what had happened. So they came back out into his front yard and they take a look. Here's video of those friends finding that serpent and taking a gun and killing it. Retribution? Yeah, a lot of retribution actually. <laughs> Just biting me may have killed him anyway. Higginbotham told us that getting to the hospital quickly probably saved him from having any lasting problems from his snake bite. Now, our snake expert says that you can lessen your chances of coming across one of these venomous creatures by keeping rodents away from your home and making sure you don't have any brush piles. That goes for those who live in town or out here in the country. From Kingsville, Michael Gibson, 3 News.